Okay, hi, I'm Louisa, and um, today's guest is me, of course. Can I get back to you? You know, gotta do what you gotta do. Can't, I can't remember what I was gonna say now because I always ramble off to somewhere else. I'm like, droop, droop, droop. <sighs> oh, yeah, 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 story times. Okay, well, I guess I'll say the one about my experience on Adderall. So first of all, I'm just say that I do have ADD. Like, I actually took this, I had a prescription and, um, I'm, yeah, as you can tell, I'm not taking it right now, as you can tell, because I, I just can't stay focused. So I'm gonna just start off by saying, um, at first my mom didn't want me to take it just because she was like, oh, we knew someone that was taking it and she, um, became really, like, dependent on it and that's not what my mom wants. So, we don't want that. Um, so, yeah. But the thing is that I was really struggling in school, like, really, really badly. Like, it was just... You know, it was really bad. Like, I still don't really like school. I That's not the point. The first day I took it, school starts at 8.30. And I took the pill, like, at 7. So, um, it said that it kicks in 20 minutes. In, like, 20, 20 minutes when you take um, the regular size or whatever. Um, I can't remember the thing, but... Oh. Yeah, so I took it. And um, I didn't feel anything. I was, like, waiting for something. I was so anxious, too. I was like, oh, my gosh. Like, I wonder when it's going to happen. I wonder when it's going to happen. And then... Um, first period um i didn't feel anything i was just like you know and you know how like also like sometimes it happens psychologically when you take something and you like when they people say like oh this works and it's like you kind of like convince yourself that it works yeah so um i was kind of doing that to myself in first period but like i i, I didn't feel like anything like i felt the same and then um second oh my god second period is when i got it so in the middle of second period is when i got it and i was confused because it said it kicks in 20 minutes but i can only feel it like in two hours i started actually feeling it and then i realized like okay i was doing homework like i was doing government homework i remember and then and like i was like hella focused i was like oh my god like this is so fun like i was like oh i was on point when in reality like i'm not in, on point like i usually like i'll do like I'll answer a couple questions and then like I'll go on my phone and then I'll start like and then I'll realize that like I'll I'll start spacing out and be like huh like I wonder what I'm gonna wear tomorrow or I wonder what lunch I'm gonna get it and then I start realizing oh wait I gotta get back on point but no this time I was like boom 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 boom, boom, boom. and then in the middle of it I was like oh my gosh I'm focused like I was like oh crap like oh shit like I'm, I'm on wood. I'm on wood. <laughs> um, and so after that, I went to third period, and that was government. And then, like, I was like, okay. Because that class is, was a lot of lecture, and oh my, I don't work well with lecture at all. And then the class, I'd get in trouble a lot because I talk a lot and stuff like that. But this time, okay, and then we, I even sat with my friends in that class, so I mean, you can't blame that. Um, so, like, this time, like, I was actually listening to the teacher, and I was actually, like, doing my work and everything. My friends kept, like, trying to, talk to me, talk to me. And I'd be like, um, no, bye, bye, bye. I'm trying to listen. I'm trying to get a good way. Bye, bye, bye. And I was low-key rude, but I mean, I didn't really notice at first, you know, because it was the first time. And then after that, um, it was lunchtime, and, uh, I realized I wasn't hungry. Like, I wasn't hungry. And so I wasn't hungry, and I was like, shit, like, lunch is my what I look forward to, and now I can't look forward to it because I'm not hungry. But you know, I have to eat anyway. But then also, I also wanted to take Adderall because I heard that you you don't get you lose appetite and stuff like that. I was like, oh my gosh, like I'm trying to lose weight here, like um um um, I'm really trying to like you know take this anyway. So I end up getting hot Cheetos, you know. I just, sorry, mom. Like, I, I know. I got hot Cheetos for lunch because I wasn't hungry. And that was still, you know, what's the purpose of, like, you know? Right, so then, at, by the end of the day, okay, also, by the way, um, I was crushing on someone um, around this time. Like, I was, um, but yeah, he never really liked me, so I mean, like, I can't do anything about it. Um, I didn't know this, but, um, like, I started, I was really sad after, at the end of the day. I was really sad, but I thought I was sad because, um, I saw the guy that I had a crush on. And I was looking at him, we made eye contact, and he didn't say hi. And I was so sad about that. I was so, like, what? Like, how how is that normal? Anyway, so, like, like I was like, 
I don't know. I was caring too much about that. I was like, you know, I don't know. I was just like really sad. I was really sad. And then I was telling my friend, oh my god, like he doesn't like me, blah, blah, blah. Every day I started taking it. Every day I started taking it. I thought it was fun. It was low. It was really good. It was good. It was good. Like it, it actually did help me and stuff like that. But then at the end of the day about, um, well, okay. So I had, after lunch I had dance and in dance I didn't feel like dancing like I was really calm I felt really calm so I didn't feel like dancing I didn't feel like you know I, I, I really like I really hated going to dance class after a while because I was like I don't I don't feel like doing this I, I just want to sit down and like do like do other stuff you know like I and you know like that's the opposite of me I love dancing I love running around I love like doing all crazy type of shit but I didn't want to this time and like that was also kind of like making me feel weird and then also um after dance class that's when it would start wearing off my medicine so then um that's when i started feeling sad again for no reason but like it wasn't as bad i would just feel kind of down and stuff like that and then i realized um that maybe it was because i wouldn't eat that much so then i started snacking and stuff like that i started eating more i started like trying to um get enough sleep and then getting snacks and everything because i heard that if you're not getting enough sleep and you're not like eating and you're not staying healthy while you're taking adderall then you know can it can f you up i kept taking it and stuff like that because i was like no like i have to like my teachers were also starting to like actually be proud of me and started i didn't tell them that i was taking the adderall but they were just like wow like you're doing your work you're on top of your shit and i'm like yeah and also like i started like it made me overthink a lot and it gave me a lot of anxiety and i had no idea why i thought it was just me at first like i would i would forget that i was taking the adderall but like i would start thinking that people didn't like me and like i'd be really really i'd be even shyer than normal and like i just started to like event like slowly like turn into a different person kind of and i didn't i didn't notice yet um christmas break came up um, you know, I didn't have to take anything during break. So, um, that's when I started realizing that I'm going back to my norm normal person, which is my energetic, like, woo, 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 and, like, talking to anyone and not being afraid to, like, you know, you know? Um, just not being afraid to, like, talk to anyone and just, like, I wasn't on, I wasn't as awkward and stuff like that, so I was just, like, it was all good. Um, so then after winter break, I just, I was like, oh, I'm not, you know what, I'm not gonna take it anymore for, like, I'm still trying in school. It's not that I'm gonna like slack off and like you know, but like like when you come after break and then you come and you already have kind of like that senioritis. Like you don't really feel like doing any more work. You know you you're getting on top of that. You have ADHD. Oh, it's bad. It's bad. It was two and one. I take I took it because I was like I have to get back in my game. Like I really have to like you know because I was really lazy and there was I was like there's no way that I'm gonna do this without me taking it. So, um, yeah, I took it, and then that's when, you know, all that happened, and yeah, that's all that, it's my senior, like, I'm going to community college, like, right now, and stuff like that, and, like, I don't, I'd rather, like, be, like, natch, like, I'd rather be, like, happy, and, like, you know, doing all this stuff, and not, I, I know that sounds really wrong, but, like, school has never really made me happy, and stuff like that, um, and I just, I don't, it's not my thing, you know, it's not everyone's thing, so I never liked school, even, like, when I, I was on Adderall and everything, like, I like, like, I like doing work and stuff like that, but it was still not, like, fun, you know, it was still not interesting, like, I was doing it because, you know, I was, like, a robot, like, it literally, like, the way Adderall feels is, like, you're, like, a robot, you're literally, like, just, doing everything that you have to do and you're just like in zone like you're just like someone hands you like um a stack of papers and you have to like answer all the questions you start answering the questions you're not asking yourself oh why am i doing this blah, blah, blah. you just anything that like you have to do you just start doing it that's that's the only way I can really describe how it feels. Like, it's really hard to describe. But, like, and also, like, when you're doing it, you're at a high. So, like, you actually feel there's this a point where you do really feel happy. Like, you feel like you're on top of your shit. Like, you really just feel like you're on top of yourself. Like, 
you're like you, you know like you just feel like you're on top of the world like you're doing everything like you feel so organized you feel like it's really good but then well for me like then at the end of the day um oh, what is the name of that like when you have the high and then you have the crash yeah the crash is what makes me feel like that and like I started feeling like oh my gosh like I'm a failure like small tears came out because and I really have to take this pill just so that I'll do do good in school and like make everyone happy and everything but I'm not happy like I, I don't I don't want to do this because like like I don't know why do I have to sacrifice my health I have to sacrifice my like my um, I don't know, I'm sorry, I don't, I can't think of any, um, words, but, like, um, like, I have to sacrifice, like, basically my health and myself just so that I'll do good in school, just, high school, actually, because I do, okay, I want to be an interior designer slash architecture and also something in art, I don't know what, and also maybe something in music, um, I'm really into art, artsy stuff, so, um, yeah, like, art doesn't really matter in high school, you know? Like, it's not, um, you know? But, like, that's what I want to do when I grow up. And, like, all of high school, I've basically been doing stuff that I don't want to be doing, you know? I mean, I guess math is, like, really important and stuff like that. But, well, for my what I want to be doing. But, yeah, like, I was just thinking about how, like, I had to take this stupid pill that makes me feel like shit at the end and will basically like fuck me up just so that I was I, I didn't realize it until after sometimes I'd be really rude to people and sometimes like I just like be like you know I, I didn't like it I didn't like it um and it's just this is my experience it's different for everyone it really is some people love it or maybe it's just the dose that I took maybe it's just or maybe it's just not for me but, like I do recommend you guys um ADHDers or ADDers because um, just to try it out. I'm not really going to lose anything from trying it out. If you don't like it, you don't like it. Um, I still, I'm happy that I tried it just to see how it felt like, just to see if um, this was for me, you know? But I see that it wasn't and it's okay. Like I can try other things and I know that I'm other, I'm good at other things. You also when if you have ADD and like you really struggle in school, just know that you're good in other things. You're not like you're like you're gonna and if you you think you're not, you're gonna find something. Like don't worry, like you're gonna find something that you're so good at and you love and if like you're just you're gonna feel like you finally fit in somewhere because that's that's how I felt for a long time. I felt like I wasn't good at it. But then I found my things that I'm good at, which is art. Dance. But yeah, like, you just, like, you, you, you'll you find your thing and you'll be good at it. <laughs> but yeah, that's basically what my experience has been with it. Also, fidget spinners. Oh my gosh. Fidget spinners are my... Oh, thank God. Okay, I actually use it for what it's supposed to be for i don't use it like you know like i actually like i'm it's gonna be like 20 30 and i'm still gonna be using a fidget spinner just know that and also you guys should too like the people that actually need it use that shit so yeah that's all i have to say and um thank you for watching this really long video and yeah um i'll see y'all next time Pe peace